Hello, I'm Ed Veer, and welcome to my corner of the world where I try to make things just a little bit better. Today we're going over a spot that I first saw on a video on YouTube from a guy named Linkbait. I will post the link below in the comment section or my description and please go check out his video it's a little bit short but what it does is it shows you this area for collecting basculus eggs it's a short video but I wanted to go over it myself and see how good it was and it's actually a pretty good spot for basculus eggs and something he didn't go over but it's really good for these Hornswog hunks of meat too which are over here off to the side now where we are at is roughly right here coordinates are roughly 67.53 and 50.77 if you want to put that in your tom tom waypoint the two closest flight paths you have are life vault ruins and sky top observatory you just fly to one of those spots and then use your dragon flight or you can come down to the river you know just come down the river whichever way you go and get to this tiny little island right here you can see it's just a little let's see if I can get further back here so you can see this landmark you're looking for you're looking for this island right here you can't miss it because I mean you look at all the basilisks around it and that's where you're going to get your eggs from. You want to kill the stalking basculus and a mature basculus. Mature ones will give you about, a, well, I'm showing 126% chance from the mature ones. That's because you're getting, you know, you can get one to two eggs. A lot of times you're getting two eggs from those guys. The stalking basculus will give you about 106% chance. You know, like I said, off these guys, I've looted them 52 times and gotten 55 eggs. You know, the mature ones, I have gotten 34 eggs from 27 loots. Now, ideally, you're going to want to come in here with a skinner as well, because you're going to be going in here and going to blast away on these guys. You don't have to, but... You know why not skinning you get the adamant scales and the various things that go with it now what I do recommend is you have some way to walk on the water and make this farm a lot easier for you I use the English fishing raft that you can get from uh, is it Nat Pagel in Pandaria if you would like sometimes I can go over a video on that on how to get that guy but it's pretty pretty straightforward on how to do it you just take some time to do it but uh, you know all you're going to do is you're going to go through you can go around the island and you just kill the basilisks you can come down once you circle the island you pretty much can come down this area and you go through and you kill these guys as well They'll all give you, like I said, the only thing you don't, the young basilisks. I mean, if you want to kill them because they're annoying and running around, you can. But I have not yet gotten a chance to drop an egg, and there's no point in skinning them because they don't give you anything really for skinning. It's just nothing but gray items from them. And this is the part that Link Bait went over was just the basilisk eggs so you can see I'd already picked up two just a short little time you can get your maybe meat and you can work on your skinning if you need scales it's a great place to go get your scales as well and as I said having something where you can walk on the water be a huge help once you've killed all those there, you know, if you need resilient leather, you can come down here and kill some of these otters. There's space throughout the area. 
now here's where it gets interesting and it's something that I'm adding to this video as it wasn't covered in the video I saw you have your river horn swags the river swaglet again just like the young bass list only drops gray items but if you need the horn swag hunks you just kill these river horn swags has about 114 percent chance out of 44 kills I've gotten 49 horn swag hunks from them see there it is right away and of course again skinning them for the scales you can just come down this area and just kill off the big guys like I said you can see nothing but gray items off the uh, roof swag lots swag lids I'm sorry and you just make the circuit here basically you can come across and you can see I'm level 70 with only 319 gear score right now it's because I no wonder I forgot I've got my fishing hat on so that doesn't help at all but you can see how easy to kill them they even properly gear and I'm just zipping through here you know, like I said, and you just come on down. That's it for the horn swag. So it's not a, not what you're going to say is a perfectly ideal for horn swag conks, but you're mainly here for the bassless eggs. And then you just come through here and kill them off. Like I said, there's two more now. I'll show you this at the time as I'm recording this video. I'm gonna get on the big boy here. Selling. At the time of this video, you can see bassless eggs are selling for 23 gold each. The hornswog hunks are selling for 24 gold. So it's not something great, but you use the bassless eggs, you use those for making the blubbery muffins which is also those muffins are used in something else but the muffins last time I looked were only going for 30 gold so if you're trying to buy it off the auction house it's cutting deeply into your profits uh, but if you're coming here oh shoot I think in a couple of minutes I had about 20 or 30 eggs and then was able to make some blubbery muffins enough to put on the auction house I had about 70 muffins on there which you know about a thousand gold which would have been a lot less profit if I'd had to buy the uh, eggs off the auction house so I hope this uh, helps you out a little bit because I had a hard time finding bassless eggs and was desperate looking for a good place to find them you can see they're all I mean they're all over the place here this is one of the highest I'm not saying it's the best place but it's one of the highest concentration of bass lists that I have seen and I love that I was able to find that video and try this out and it's actually a good spot to go farm them farm the eggs like I said you can get the hunks as well it's not too bad uh, the only thing I wish I wish I had more ways of skinning resilient leather now if you're having a hard time with the respawn like I said you can just go down this area and you can see what a pain in the butt it is if you can't have something raft uh, mounted pet to walking on the water but then you just extend it a little bit and just kill these little otux this is why I like the raft because you don't dismount and as long as you don't get hit you stay on the raft so it's very useful for situations like this but you can kill these river otux and when you come back around you can see there's a titan touch ceravite deposit 
So, all in all, this is a nice little. There's a, another Cerevite deposit, so there's two right there. I'm a Skinner herbalist, so I can't mine it, unfortunately. But overall, this is a nice little place, I think. Uh, I only wish it was a forced respawn. That's the only thing that would make this a lot better farming spot, I think. But there's enough here to keep you busy. I mean, if you want to do some fishing uh, along the river, you can have a chance of getting some herbs. Like I said, there's a horn, horn swag that I did miss. And you can just take your time and just gather all the supplies you need here for cooking. All the eggs and the uh, hunks. I want to thank you all for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Uh, as I said, I'll leave a link to the original video from Linkbait in the description. And please go check out his videos as well. I mean, he's doing something great. He found this spot. Uh, so I think he's got a lot more great videos in store if you can keep finding spots like this and i want to say merry christmas to y'all and happy holidays and please enjoy be safe and enjoy the holidays and have a great time thank you very much